So I'm gonna give you guys a entire Drew Gregory Theory chatterbait lesson here. It's obviously been one of the baits that has been most successful for me, you know, just fun fishing and on the tournament trail. But it's way more even simple than I think people believe about chatterbaits. But then I guess it can be a little complicated, but that's why I'm gonna try to break it all down for you today. The simple part is the fact that, you know, I see people talking about, you know, with the chatterbait, you gotta twitch and pull this and yo-yo and do all that. And, and I'm sure there's situations that may work, but in the places I go with my kayak, you know, honestly, just a straight wind has been most successful. And I'm gonna explain why I believe it's most successful to do just a straight wind with any chatterbait. The chatterbait is naturally giving a, an erratic kind of, you know, motion to it. And that's sort of a distress call, right, to a bass, you know, it's a distress call. And that's what, when you're twitching a jerk bait or any other kind of bait out there, you're trying to make it look distressed, okay? But the chatterbait, when you wind it straight, this blade is naturally doing that. It's a, I'm trying to get away from you presentation. That's what it's saying to the bass already. So, I mean, you can certainly twitch and, and do a lot of commotion with it if you want. But in my opinion, you're actually probably missing more fish than catching them because, uh, you know, fish are just like humans. Some of them are more coordinated than others. And even if they're coordinated, if, they, if you pull right when it's trying to strike, you're gonna miss it. So I would always first at least try a straight retrieve and then, if that doesn't work, maybe you can adjust from there. But most of the time, trust me, it works, especially you're in those wild places like rivers uh, and creeks and, and just the places I get to, they don't see many baits anyway. Plus on a river, if you're throwing across any current seams, it's moving already, kind of zigzagging based on the current seam. So that's my theory on it. Uh, I have another little uh, tip and strategy for you guys on the trailers, because there's so many options of trailers here you can use, and basically, Z-Man makes all different chatterbaits and they come in all different weights and sizes. This is the Project Z chatterbait right here. It's one of my favorites. There's a few things I like about it. I like this, this longer skirt that it's got on it. Here in the back, you can see the skirt kind of a few strands kind of get a little bit longer. I like that about it. It gives it a little bit bigger profile and it tapers down like a tail of a fish. So I like that. I like this uh, fast hatch clip here. It just works really good in my opinion. So it's one of my favorite things about it. And of course, a big stout hook never hurts and a great lead keeper here for all those Elastec baits that would go on as a trailer. And let's talk about some of those right now. So what you can do to adjust your retrieve, right? Uh, you can actually add all the Elastec trailers to it and sort of change the way it fishes in terms of the weight. For example, if you if you got a 3 8 here, which is a pretty light one, and you add a bigger five inch diesel minnow to it, for example, it's gonna fish and just hover just below the surface like a wake bait. And it's gonna fish nice and slow almost like a quarter ounce if we made a quarter ounce okay so that's what it's going to fish like and then if you put on a, a very small trailer just say like something like a minnows here it's going to actually fish more true like a 3 8 ounce so you're starting to get the picture you can adjust it based on how much elastic plastic is in your trailer and that weight goes up and down and i do that all the time if you're throwing something like a razor shad it doesn't have a boot tail that tends to want to sink a little bit more and it gets a little bit lower all your boot tail trailers like uh, you know your diesel minnows and swimmers it kind of hovers a little bit higher uh, in the water column 